I remember that day when I drove home, I just out of nowhere started crying uncontrollably. I've worked 20 years, built up my businesses to where they were, and in a second, it's all gone. It's all gone. Hi, I'm Winnie Lakani, and I'm the Smoke Queen. I had almost 50 staff I had to lay off, and everybody had to disperse. For months, we were in limbo, and I wondered, when is this pandemic going to be over? When can I reopen my businesses? And how am I going to reopen these businesses? I've been in so many different businesses, retail, beauty, restaurant, food service. As a franchisee, restaurateur, it was very robotic, unexciting. I have this creative side of me that never had an outlet. One day I went to Costco and I was only allowed to buy one piece of meat. So of course I chose the largest piece of meat I could find and it happened to be the brisket. Went home, started smoking it, and it was terrible. Being who I am, I decided I'm not gonna let this slow me down, I'm gonna try and try again. I think the most rewarding part of barbecue is the fact that it's so difficult to get that piece of meat right. And when you do, that actually makes it all worthwhile. Did you learn all this? Like YouTube. Yeah? On internet. I don't have like a dad or a grandpa or uncle that passed down these traditions. Right, 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 right. So I just have to learn on my own. And then also through um, trial and error, that's how I figured things out. At one point, my husband and friends encouraged me to start a barbecue business. After my very first weekend, I realized these strangers were just trusting that I will produce a product for them. And when they gave me positive feedback, I realized I could use my experience as an entrepreneur, scale this business, and take it as far as it can go. I'm just gonna do brisket, one, coleslaw one, beans one. We should have all the platters here, here sides, meat, and then back here. When my parents found out that I was meeting people at the parking lot and selling barbecue, it was not appreciated, let's say. There was one day where I took my smoker to a pop-up. My parents came. They saw that I had a huge line even before I opened. That night, I went over to my dad's house. The first thing he says to me is, hey, Winnie, do you, do you want a truck? Do you want me to buy you a truck? so you could tow your smoker. The fact that he offered really told me that he was proud of me. So we have a half a brisket and the pork belly soup. Yes. Thank, okay, you. thank you. You guys are opening a restaurant in Anaheim, right? Garden Grove, just um, oh, Guard Grove. Garden Grove Boulevard and 9th Street. Yeah. Can I ask you for a favor? Yes. Can I take a selfie with you so my wife knows that I was here? Or it's too much? Five dollars. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I'm ah. just joking. <laughs> okay, all right. One, two, three. As a kid, I was an introvert. I didn't speak up. I was very timid. I don't know if it was the pandemic, the fact that, you know, everything came to a screeching halt, or the fact that I turned 40. I realized, fuck it. I'm not going to care about what the expectations are of me. I'm just going to do me. As a restaurateur, getting into barbecue did not make sense. There's no margin in barbecue. But at the end of the day, I realized, I need to fulfill my passion and stop chasing money. And when that happens, everything just falls into place. I wouldn't get that kind of enthusiasm or excitement with the food I was serving in my franchises. That tells me that I'm making an impact. And I never thought that I would be featured on Eater LA, New York Times, The Kelly Clarkson Show, KTLA Live, Spectrum News One. That turning point in Smoke Queen Barbecue was the moment when I had the first call with the senior editor of Eater LA. So when that article came out, I almost cried. It was really validating for me, made me believe and gave me the confidence that I needed to say, hey, you know what? The sky's the limit with Smoke Queen Barbecue. I have the entrepreneurial experience. I know I can scale it. I can make this big. 
in the midst of the pandemic where we were stripped of our communities, I unintentionally built a brand that brought people together. And to me, moving forward means to pursue your passion, even against your better judgment.